All right, so part two of the 350 million download celebration has officially started. I mean, technically it started like eight hours ago. And I know I said that I would stream last night, but honestly, I was just so freaking tired and I basically passed out around like midnight. So that's my bad. But on the bright side, we are still gonna be streaming the part two events a little bit later today around 3 4 p.m. so definitely tune in if you can and in the meantime we're gonna take a quick look at what part two has to offer in the news here so uh, with that said let's jump right into it so it says 350 million global downloads reached worldwide celebration cataclysmic campaign is on a new story event and new stages of various events are here events on a worldwide scale such as the sharing 350 million dragon stones among the world campaign and a worldwide showdown campaign where the international version and the Japanese version will compete against each other are also available. In addition, don't miss out on the top legendary summon which will become available later during the campaign period. Let's enjoy Dokkan Battle with players from all over the world. Now this was actually a bit of a surprise because for the past couple of years, we haven't been getting two new LRs, right? It's usually been one new LR and a second LR that is older but got like a revamp for their uh, Super Attack animation. Like the uh, Majin Vegeta I think was last year and before that it was the Int LR Gohan. So I thought it was going to be a similar kind of deal. Maybe like LR Bardock would get the uh, you know Super Attack revamp and then we would get like a new Vegeta or something like that, but instead, we're getting two new LRs, which we'll see in a second. But uh, let's see what's going on here. So we got the uh, special missions, of course, for part two. We have a top legendary summon, and the funny thing is, currently, right, it says top legendary summon. It doesn't show us any images, any previews, but when the news first came out last night, this was something different. So let me just quickly show you guys what that looked like. Uh, here we go. By the way, big shout out to Air Dokkan for posting this. And let me switch the uh, view here. Okay, so yeah, last night when the news first dropped, it originally showed this, right? So we got the SSR arts for our two new LRs for the top legendary summon. And it looks like it's going to be a LR Krillin and Gohan, and then a LR Vegeta. So I was basically half right, you know, in my prediction video a uh, few weeks ago, I did say that I felt like a Planet Namek Saga Vegeta was going to be the new LR for part two. So I feel pretty good about that. Now I didn't say Krillin and Gohan, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned that they were also a possibility. So I must say I was three quarters right, actually. Okay, I was three quarters right on my prediction. And of course for part one, I did say Super Saiyan Goku and Full Power Frieza, but that was like really obvious, so I can't really take too much credit for that. But uh, there you go, guys. Two new LRs for part two, Krillin and Gohan, Kid Gohan, and also Vegeta. Um, overall hype level, I would say like it's at a 7.5. I'm not gonna lie and be like, yo, dude, I can't wait for Krillin and Gohan and Vegeta. Like. We have enough Vegeta's in this game at this point, and Krillin and Gohan are cool, man, but for a summonable LR, I mean, I guess we'll see the animations and everything, but I'm not, like, overhyped at the moment, but I am excited to see what they can do. Okay, so, uh, it says coming soon, I'm pretty sure that means that they'll be dropping in about a week, right, just like part two of the anniversary where, you know, part two started, and then a week later, we got the top legendary summon, so I think that's going to be the kind of timeline. I could be wrong, so don't hold me to it, but we don't have an exact date at the moment. But there you go, guys. Berlin and Gohan, and then uh, LR Vegeta as well. So top legendary summon coming soon. Stay tuned for the details and animations, of course. And uh, let's go over to the other view now. There we go. And let me just actually take this away. All right, so... That's the top legendary summon. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. And then we also have this sharing 350 million Dragonstones campaign, which I'll we'll get into a little bit more detail in a second as well. We have this full on crisis or full of crisis Bulma on duty. 
and this is an event that you want to do every single day because you do get 10 free dragon stones every single time you clear it and uh, in total there's a lot of stones up for grabs so definitely do it every single day or uh, as long as we can I guess and we also have the breakthrough enemy, enemy, <laughs> enemy lines breakthrough enemy lines worldwide showdown campaign we have a new challenge event called furious charge breaking the siege where we defeat free just free I can't talk right what's going on Frieza Frieza shoulder shoulders we defeat Frieza shoulders apparently no Frieza soldiers to get awesome rewards I don't know exactly what the event looks like because I haven't done it yet but it seems uh, pretty basic you basically just bring a team and try to kill as many Frieza shold soldiers as you possibly can and then you clear missions get some stones and other stuff right and then there's the uh, support for Extremes the Awakening Zeni Good Lore campaign. Uh, perform Extremes the Awakenings during the event period to get Hercule statues. And Extremes the Awaken certain characters to get the used Zeni back. Interesting. That's awesome. Um, I've actually been having some issues with Zeni. The Extremes the Awakenings cost a lot, so that's going to be really helpful for a lot of people, man. I like that. Okay. And then we have Super Dragonstone discounts. Uh, let's see, 93 stones for the price of 63, 7 times, 32 stones for the price of, uh, I guess, 50% off, 3 times. And we also have the Premium Dragonstone 8, which can be purchased 3 times. Oh, actually, this was from Part 1, right? Yeah, it says August 25th. Okay, so this was from Part 1. Alright, so not the best sales, but they're okay, I guess. Uh, we have the Elder Kai banner, we have some new... Uh, events here as well. We got the Saiyan and Rebellion, Rebellion event where I believe we get the Krillin and Vegeta. We have the Astonishing Power Up uh, Grand Elder Guru's Guidance event as well where we can uh, level up our link levels or link skills a little bit easier. But once again, as I said yesterday, I don't think it's a guaranteed level up. I just think it's a higher chance to increase your links. And then we have uh, some new stages for the Ruler of the Universe or uh, the uh, Legend of the Super Saiyan event as well as the Emperor's Intentions. Is that what it's called? The Emperor's... Yes, Emperor's Intentions event. So we can Doken Awaken, the SSR Goku, and also the uh, Tech Sarbon. And then we have two new stages for the Ginyu Force Extreme Z Awakening for uh, Jace and Birder. No Ginyu yet, as far as we know. And then we also have the Extreme Z Awakening for the Transforming Goku. And finally, a new stage for the Collection of Epic Battles event as well. So all of this stuff will be done in uh, my stream later today. Once again, around 3-4 p.m. Definitely tune in if you can. And uh, that's part two, guys. Now, taking a bit of a closer look at this... Um Sharing 350 million Dragonstone campaign. Now this is interesting because it basically says we can get 10 stones per day by clearing the Bulma event and then it's going to end when 350 million Dragonstones have been attained between both versions, which is just kind of weird. Like putting like a cap on it. Um, are they going to give us periodic updates for how many stones have been giving out or have been given out so far or like how is that going to work? During the event period, clear the event full of crisis, bomb on duty, which can be uh, attempted once per day, uh, every day to get 10 stones on mission, as mission rewards daily. The campaign and speci specified events will be available until 350 million dragon stones have been attained around the world. Yeah, that's strange. I don't really know what that means. Um, like, I guess we want less people to play the game then, because the more people that play, the more stones will be given out every day. So that means the events will be available for a shorter period of time then, right? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is a weird one. Um, I'm hoping that it's just like kind of a, you know, just kind of a theme thing and they don't actually, or they won't actually stop it if we actually reach 350 million before the end of the campaign. You know, like we'll just get it every single day until the campaign is over or something like that. We'll see, but just kind of a weird thing, I guess. But I do really like that Bulma event. And as I said, just do it every day for as long as you possibly can. All right. And uh, after that, we have the Breakthrough Enemy Lines. 
where the winner gets the uh, Bardock, the loser gets the Frieza, and let's see what the missions are here. We got the wallpaper, oh, mission details, okay, so we have some personal missions for defeating X number of enemies, and then for the other, uh, let's see. For the showdown missions, the number of enemies defeated by the Japanese version and the international version will be recorded, and the side that defeated more enemies will be the winner. Oh, I see. Okay. So basically, it's just which side defeats more enemies. That's uh, pretty simple. And then we have our special missions. Pretty standard stuff. Get a sticker, get some items, some kais, all that good stuff. Some stones, of course. Okay. Then we have this Extremes the Awakening Zenika lore campaign. So it says, uh, Hercule Statue's diamond can be obtained on uh, missions based on the step of Extreme Z Awakening performed. You can obtain 5 million Zenny by selling a Hercule Statue. In addition, you get Hercule Statues worth the amount of Zenny used by performing the final step of Extreme Z Awakening on the specified characters. Uh, oh, okay, so it's for the Ginyu Force as well as... I guess these ones apply for any characters, right? As long as you're performing steps 1 to 7. But well, then these ones are for the free-to-play Ginyu Force. And it looks like we are getting a pretty good amount of statues. We're getting seven, basically. Or rather, six diamond and one of these uh, bronze, or silver, rather, for each of the Ginyu Force members. And then we're getting a diamond for every step here. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. And that looks to be it for part two of the uh, campaign. Um... You know, two new outliers coming. Once again, I want you I want to hear your opinions, guys. If you are excited for this Krillin and Gohan and also the Vegeta, or are you not really fin feeling it? Either way, let me know. And uh that's gonna be it, man. Stream coming soon. Once again, tune in if you're available. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out